Isn't it frustrating when you start a bit of DIY around the house and then you have to stop because something throws a spanner in the works? Or in this case, a reptile in the works. The reptile in question is the slow worm, which, incidentally, is neither slow nor a worm. It's also one of my favourite creatures. But slow worms aren't so popular with everyone. When they were discovered on a building site in Bristol last year, work ground to a halt. And that's because slow worms, along with great crested newts, lizards and adders, are now a protected species. So before work can start again on this part of the site, they have to be moved to a new home. And that's why the building contractors have called in expert ecologists Lisa and Harry. To increase our chances of finding slow worms, they put down pieces of roofing felt where reptiles love to hide. So hopefully under here is a slow worm. Unlucky um, this time. Unlucky, we got some very nice snails, wood lice, oh, yes. and a slug. Yes, which is what, what okay. the slow worms like. No. <laughs> no! At first, I was quietly confident. Ants! Whoa! Then, just quiet. So it's possible you've trapped them all? Yes, well, you have to continue until you've had seven days where you've found nothing. Mm. And then you can declare it clear. Well, this could be the trapping. first day. So it could be. Now, the slow worms were found last year, so why didn't you move them then? Well, we found them towards the end of the season, so towards. July or August time, but they're going to hibernation in September, so it's quite a risky time to move them then. Okay. You have to wait till spring. You have to wait till spring. And just as I was about to give up hope... Yes! Yes! Hey! yes! Oh. Oh, thank goodness for that. I was really beginning to wonder if we'd ever find one. Now, that looks like a snake to anybody. Why isn't it a snake? It does look like a snake. It's actually a lizard, um, but they've evolved to not have legs. But what they do have is an eyelid, which I don't know if I can make it blink, mm. but um, they have an eyelid like other lizards. Right, and snakes haven't. And snakes haven't. Very pretty, isn't it? They are very pretty. Very They're a beautiful, pretty. shiny, coppery colour. Can I hold it? Yes, you can. I just take it really? gently and don't take it by the tail. No. The tail is very fragile. They actually have the ability to drop their tails to escape predation. And they're completely harmless. Yes. Completely Apart from harmless. just slugs and snails. Yeah. Ooh. 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 ooh, ooh. Hey. And they like to curl their tails round you like this. Yeah. What happens to her now? Now we're going to move her to a new home. Right. So I'm going to put her in a cloth bag. And I've put a bit of grass in there so she can hide in, feel safe. And um, we'll take her to a new site. Oh, oh, oh there's a baby one. I didn't even see well, that. They were so seen... small, I couldn't even see it. <laughs> Look at that, that's absolutely tiny. Of course, in the bad old days, these creatures would simply have been bulldozed without anyone knowing they were here. So isn't the law now creating a real headache for the man in charge of the building works? You must dread these ecological surveys. I mean, that in case somebody finds a crested newt or a slow or some rare insect. No, not really, because uh, nature conservation uh, protection of protected species. Uh, it, it's all part of uh, an essential part of what we uh, what we do on many of our development projects. And enshrined in law now, of course. That as well. Yes, mm. we don't uh, perhaps get a lot of option when we have an endangered species on a site. Why? And now all the slow worms we've collected today get the chance to live in a new safe home. Right, this is the spot, is it? Yes, we can release them here. Oh, oh we've got, oh, we got loads. It's a really big one there. Yeah, it's a really big female. Look at that. She's a monster. It's a, so she's adult, that one? Yes, yeah, so you can really see the difference in the size now between that lovely little juvenile down there. So how many is that all together? We've got five. Well, this is a brilliant end to a fantastic day, and I know if I was a slow one, I'd much rather be here than on a building site. <laughs>